You were looking at a false crawl on a beach in Gush Shores, Alabama on June 13, 2010. Notice how the tracks lead up to the oil portion of the beach and then turn and go back into the gulf. It appears the mother turtle came in to lay her eggs and changed her mind when she saw the oil. These turtle tracks were found June 26, 2010, around 3.30 a.m. while a turtle patrol was riding the beaches in Alabama. Notice the tracks of the turtle are on top of tracks of the heavy equipment. This equipment is being used to clean the beaches at night because the oil tends to melt during the day. It is easier to collect at night when it is cooler. In an attempt to protect the mother turtles and the nests, Turtle trained volunteers are riding ATVs at night marking tracks that are found. That morning, the volunteers that are assigned to that section of beach call other team members to help move a nest. This is being done because of the danger from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Many measurements are made in order to duplicate the depth of the nests, circumference, etc., to Mama T's specifications. The fluffed area of sand is first searched for eggs. This is marked off with stakes so that we can work one area and if not found, move to another. This particular nest made it appear that finding the eggs was easy, but that is not always the case. We do not dig with our fingers or sharp objects. We use the blunt sides of our hands and pull the sand away. We are feeling for soft sand, something that doesn't feel packed. Our beaches are not rocky or full of sharp shells, and that allows us to work with our hands. When one egg is found, that is our verification of a nest. Before the eggs are taken from the clutch, sand from the nest is put in the container where the eggs will be placed. Gloves are worn by those that will be moving the eggs. The eggs are held upright while moving and not rolled. They are placed in a container for movement the way they are in the nest. By doing this, when they are put in the new nest, they will be at the same depth as they were in the original one. Much care is taken to measure, 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 and do as much as we can to emulate Mama T's nest. A volunteer will count the eggs as they come out of the nest, and then another volunteer will count them as they are put in the new location. This is our way of verifying exactly how many eggs there are. In a normal year, which this isn't, we would also count them at hatching for verification of the number again. Y'all were doing in the sand to get the tar balls up. It doesn't mean they walk the beach. Right. And then you can show them the shaking bait. Because let's face it, somewhere down the road, that's how everybody's going to clean their own beach. Okay. Okay. The, um, I don't know if you've seen Shake and Bake too. You have, okay. Um, there's another small one on your um, bench where the car is parked. So they've got plenty to see. And you know, I'm sure there's something out there you can demonstrate with.
We have oh. seen so many dead crabs. Oh, I know. We have two crabs. It's okay, I would we take the Yeah, Mike, yeah, my oh Mike edits so much. We have moved this nest as far as possible from the water and hopefully any high water that may come from a storm. You can see a couple of the skimmer boats offshore which is an indication of oil that is pushing in towards this beach. The cleanup crew did a good job last night on the beach but it will have to be done over and over until this catastrophe comes to an end. The eggs are now placed into the new nest dug to the depth and circumference of the one these came out of. I'll get you back on even number. 26, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can do math. 22, <laughs> 28. Yeah, two more. 36. 2, 38. 2. 40. 2, 50. 2. 2. Want me to roll this up, Roll. 2. Two. Six. Two. Eight. Two. 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 Alright, sand them in. We ready? Sand them in. Yep. The sand that was previously placed in the container prior to the eggs being removed from the nest is now sprinkled back onto them in the new nest. Much consideration is given to the safety of the new nest location. This location will be protected by a grate that is marked in the center by a green piece of flagging which is the center of the nest itself. Stakes will be placed around the grate with flagging and a warning sign. Additionally this year, we have made another perimeter of stakes and flagging due to heavy equipment on the beaches. This will keep the equipment a little bit further away from the nest and hopefully prevent an accidental grating of this area during night beach cleaning. A BP contractor helped fill in the hole from the original nest. This is Turtle Sherry of Gulf Shores, Alabama, our dedicated and loyal leader of the Share the Beach Laguna Key Team. This nest was found on June 26 by Ken and Jan Taylor of Foley, Alabama. The nest contained 87 eggs. The group picture includes everyone who worked to move the nest that day except for Jen Lorenz who was kind enough to take the picture. It was a great day.